Hey, you subscribers. Okay, listen to me. So check this out. Oh, my lip. What is that? Um. Oh, fuck it. Okay, look. So check this out. <laughs> this is a tall tale sign that you're dealing with a narcissist and they're cheating on you. Now check this out. You could tell when a narcissist is cheating on you because the person, I'm going to tell you how you know, and this, this is how you'll know the person. The narcissist, once you're going through like the kind of the value stage or the, you know, where they flatline, the relationship have flatlined, it's not like all like um, rainbows and flowers like it was in the beginning. You can tell that they're cheating because what you'll see and what you'll witness is them always telling you that they're too busy for you, but they got to link up with a friend of theirs. They'll give the particular friend's name. Oh, I got to link up with Jenna. I'm going to see Jenna today because we got to do some stuff. And Jenna, 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 Jenna. But you'll notice that you never see the friend. Now, sometimes the narcissist will be so bold and will bring the friend around you only because they've told the friend about you, but they haven't told you anything about them. This is one of the most disturbing, saddest, very saddest and mind-blowing episodes that happen in the world of narcissism because, ladies and gentlemen, they be literally cheating with these people. And you know, you just feel it in your heart like, oh my gosh, it... If only I could imagine what Jenna's doing. I'm serious. I had an ex do that to me. He would always say, oh, I got to go meet up with such and such. I got to go meet up with, I think the name was Jason. I need to go meet up with Jason. Oh, me and Jason doing this. Me and Jason doing it. It was so crazy that he literally, literally skipped Halloween with me to go meet up with this Jason guy who I had never met. And then one day I seen them come in. I was laying down on my sofa and they came in my apartment and they went straight to the refrigerator and went to, cause I guess like, you know, my ex used to work like at this restaurant and they were putting food in the freezer. Like, you know, cause the food was like real heavy or whatever. And my ex was bringing it in our, in my house and was putting it in the freezer because the bitch lived with me. He never had shit of his own. But anyways, um, and when he did, it was rinky dink and fucked up. But anyways, he was moving stuff like in my, in my freezer. And then I, the, I got one snippet of the guy, Jason. And I, I still don't even remember because it was so vague. But it was like he, they were moving stuff and then all of a sudden I never seen. And you know, and what's so crazy is the narcissist will use the person that they're cheating on you with to help sustain you as well. So they were moving me into my shit, okay? Because the narcissist knows that one thing, two things for show, sure, you might act like this and act like that. But when it comes down to that, that guap, that yin, the peso, you're going to run it. You're going to run up a bag. And you know that um, when it comes down to my house and you're staying there you're gonna put some food in the fridge right so they will have them come in and oh they're putting food in the freezer and da -da -da -da. but they probably at the same time was fucking them ain't that something ladies and gentlemen y'all you will be so freaking surprised so freaking surprised like you know they play these dirty games ladies and gentlemen dirty games dirty games